This shaky video was filmed secretly inside of a tanker ship. Secretly, because it shows something that should not be there. Did you see it? Let's watch it again. There it is. This is a bilge pump. Ships use it to illegally dump toxic waste in the ocean. This practice is called bilge dumping, and it's causing one of the worst environmental disasters at sea. And this video was filmed by one of five whistleblowers. We and our investigative partners have used their testimonies. It is definitely the norm. A lot of the rules are violated and it's just how it is. On-site investigations. We are here to carry out a marble inspection. And satellite images. People were intentionally dumping it illegally right into the ocean. To uncover how ships dump toxic waste in our oceans and how this practice goes unpunished. So what is bilge dumping? And why are we not stopping it? First, let's look at what bilge water is. A bilge is the lowest part of a ship, where the two sides meet. Bilge water is the water that accumulates here, except it's not exactly water. Ships of this size are massive machines with labyrinthic pipe systems. Engines bigger than coach buses, burning streams of heavy fuel oil. The pipes can leak, the oil can spill, and the engines need cooling and cleaning. All these liquids are collected in the bilge, and it's not a nice view. We know very well that oil can trap and kill animals. Well, bilge water contains oil diluted with water, plus various chemicals and heavy metals. Oil can suffocate and intoxicate fish and birds, and even if they survive, their offspring might not. This is the heart of a normal, healthy fish larva. This is that of a larva exposed to oil. The result? A smaller heart, a slower heartbeat, and lower chances of surviving. Bilge water is so toxic that it has been regulated for more than 50 years. It's a hellish drainage you really don't want to dump in the ocean. And what do many seafarers do instead? Naomi Conrad is an investigative journalist at Deutsche Welle, and she's part of the team that led this investigation. So we're going to go into a hole to have a look at the bilge water, the bilge tank. This is a very clean, well-maintained ship, but I still want to go and have a look. But that's not how this investigation started. To find out what happens to our oceans, we looked at them from the sky. This is a problem that has been personally bothering me for most of my career. This is John Amos. He found out about the bilge dumping problem 20 years ago when he founded Sky Truth. We're a nonprofit organization that uses satellite imagery to shine a spotlight on environmental issues around the world. And more precisely, radar satellites, which 20 years ago were a very new technology. And we learned one of the things it's really good for is detecting oil slicks out in the ocean. Oil companies were already using it to discover oil deposits. When you find a small oil slick that's always in the same place, is a clear sign that there's oil in the rock down there. But tables have turned. On those same images, I would regularly see these dark streaks on the water that were not natural, uh, that often had a big ship, a vessel, at the end of the slick. Enter bilge dumping. And at the time, looking at those slicks, there was no way for us to identify the vessels that were responsible. It could take hours for the satellites to send an image. By the time they received it, the vessel was long gone. It was an extremely frustrating thing. But everything changed with AIS. That is uh, automatic identification system. Its use is also required by international law so that vessels can avoid <laughs> running into each other. Ships are now required to transmit their position with a radio signal, 
Satellites can pick up the signal and record the movements of every ship. We know the exact time and the exact place from that satellite image. And then we can find the AIS broadcasts that match that most closely in space and time. And when we put it on the screen, we had a clear match of that of one vessel's track, clearly matching the path of the slick. For this investigation, algorithms were trained to automatically recognize potential spills. In one year, we found 1,500 potential dumps in EU waters alone. The oil dumped this way is roughly equivalent to five times the 1989 Exxon Valdez spill, one of the worst marine environmental disasters. Even worse, that's a conservative estimate. And even worse, hardly anybody knows about it. And even worse, this is a deliberate practice. So why are we not holding companies accountable? There are other features on radar or satellite imagery that can look like an oil slick. It could be caused by ships carrying fish oil, vegetable oil, or by other elements. It's not sufficient at this point in any courts of law that I'm aware of. But in combination with other things, uh, it can be powerful accessory evidence to help make a legal case. To be taken as proof, a visual confirmation must come from someone on the ground. So we're in a police van here because we're shattering the German Coast Guard um, on one of their inspections of a big cargo ship. Hello, Captain. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We are here to carry out a Marple inspection. There are two parts to these inspections. First, a very tedious one. The Coast Guard are going through all the technical documents, all the ship certificates, to get a first impression of what the boat's doing, what's happening on this vessel. Then, a very noisy one. So this huge thing we see down here, that's the motor. Motors of ships are incredibly big. They produce loads of bilge water every day. I mean, just look at the size of it. The bilge water is collected down here. Actually, in the bilge of the boat, which is the bottommost part of a ship in this hole. And finally, the bilge water passes through this oily water separator. Which basically separates the good from the bad liquid. The good liquid is discharged, the bad liquid is stored, and then, according to regulation, discharged at the next harbor. The inspection is over. Hamburg. So, Captain, that's a attestation about our inspection, all with no deficiencies. Okay, thank you. No problems this time. But that doesn't mean bilge dumping is not happening. We are really ganz genau hinschauen und auch versuchen, immer auf dem neuesten Stand zu sein, um auch zu wissen, wo denn was manipuliert werden könnte. Ich glaube schon, dass wir einen sehr hohen Standard haben, aber zu 100 Prozent können wir das niemals abdecken. Coast Guards only inspect a fraction of the ships and only check those already docked in a port not in ICs where the dumping occurs. But there's someone else on the ground that can confirm what satellites reveal. Someone who follows these ships wherever they go. Whistleblowers. Hello. Hey, hello. How are you? I'm good. A little tired. Otherwise, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. This is one of five whistleblowers we talked with. We decided to withhold his name to protect his identity. Thanks to his description, we built a 3D model of how bilge dumping works. Here is the bilge tank. And here is the notorious bilge pump. So what we did was we used that pump to transfer from the bilge tank to another tank called as a clean drain tank. And uh, the whole purpose of a clean drain tank is that only clean liquid comes into it and we have facility to discharge the contents of that directly overboard. And here you have it, Bilge Dumping 101. And uh, the irony is that uh, these pumps are designed to prevent oil pollution. So the purpose of these pumps are actually to uh, collect oil from the ocean and, and pump it to a safe space. But the irony is that they use the same pump for such activities. Such activities also tend to happen when there's bad weather. So it is very difficult to make out anything. At night? Like it's really, really dark. And all too often. 
it is definitely the norm it is expected that everyone will silently participate in it a lot of the rules are violated and it's just how it is one gets used to it one but not everyone whistleblowers like him are still horrified enough and brave enough to speak up Bilgewater can cause tremendous damage to marine life. But in a tight margin business like shipping, any delay costs money. To save time, CFAR is often dumped in the ocean. What's worse, regulations are bypassed with simple techniques, and companies can easily avoid detection. But there are positive developments. The new generation of radar imaging satellites that are coming are going to have multipolar, multi-frequency radar systems where we do have an ability to discriminate the type of material that's been discharged and we'll even be able to say something about the thickness of the oil slick. Satellite technology is getting so much better that it could one day be enough to incriminate offenders. Until then, we rely on whistleblowers to stop this practice. So unless uh, there is someone on board, it's very difficult to catch someone without insider. Their testimonies are crucial for investigations like this. But we shouldn't have to rely on their courage to protect our oceans. Mm -hmm.